Hello, I'm doing 34 diagrams in 34 days to help you with your microeconomics. Today is day 25 and we're looking at monopolies and tax. As always, I'm going to start with a Y axis and an X axis. On my Y, I'm going to label it cost, revenue, and on my X axis, I'm going to label it quantity. Now, I'm going to draw a monopoly making a profit in the short run or the long run. They can do both. So downward sloping average revenue, a downward sloping marginal revenue that's twice as steep. So I'm going to aim for the midway point marginal revenue. I'm going to be increasing a tax or applying a tax, which means that my costs are going to increase. So planning ahead, I'm going to draw my costs quite low so I can show that clearly in my diagram. So I'm going to have my cost curve here. That's my average total cost one. And my marginal cost is going to cut through the minimum point of my average total cost, my, my marginal cost one. We know that a profit maximizing firm sets its output based on where MC equals MR. That's where orange and blue intersect. And I'm going to call that Q1. I read up from my quantity until I hit my average revenue and read across. That sets the price that the firm is going to set for their product. I'm going to read across from where my quantity intersects my average total cost. And that's going to be C1. And I'm going to label this point A and this point B. So I can say that my firm is making a profit of P1 a, B, C, one. Now we're going to then be taxed. A tax is going to change my variable costs. It's going to increase my variable costs. If there's a change in variable costs, that means both my average cost and my marginal costs are going to increase. I'll draw that first. Now, because marginal cost has moved, it means that the point in which my MC and my MR will have changed. This is now going to set my new profit maximizing quantity, Q2. So I can see there's going to be a fall in quantity. If I read up from the quantity until I hit average revenue, I'm setting a new price at P2. There's been an increase of price to P2. I've also got a new point where my new quantity intersects my new average total cost. I'll read across and I'll call that C2. And then I'll label my two points of intersection, D and E. And so my profit, we can see, has got smaller. And I'll highlight that in a moment. So I'm going to see a fall in profit. And it's down to P2, D, E, C2. So my original profit was that rectangle. My new profit is this rectangle. So applying the tax reduces the quantity, increases the price, and reduces the profit made by the firm.